What makes this event very unique, especially to a professional shooter, is all the equipment is supplied. This competition is unique because we have both an amateur division and a pro division, and we supply all the firearms and ammunition for the competitors. They are not allowed to bring in their custom-built, tricked-out firearms to compete here. We have absolutely leveled the playing field among them by requiring them to use our firearms and ammunition. I like it. All right, this one. Okay. Left-handed? Left-handed. All right. I found you have to leave your ego at home and just try to adapt the best you can to the equipment that you have supplied and just try to uh, have a good time with it. The way I'm shooting these firearms will be totally different than I have to, the way I would want them set up at home. So you have to adapt really quick and just do your best. Stand by. It really tests the shooter's abilities on all those type of guns and distances, so it's very challenging. I really like to get out of my comfort zone, and this is definitely <laughs> out of my comfort zone, but that's what makes you stronger. It's just getting uh, to go something that you're not used to, trying hard, uh, understand your failures, um, accept them, and try to see how you can improve and get better. Before Obama was elected president, uh, Second Amendment rights and gun owner rights were headed in a very positive direction. Attorney General John Ashcroft changed the position of the U.S. government that the Second Amendment guarantees an individual right to keep and bear arms. The confirmation of John Roberts and Sam Alito to the U.S. Supreme Court. And then in 2008, we had the Heller decision, which guaranteed the individual right to keep and bear arms. President Obama campaigned as some sort of Second Amendment champion. He went out and said that if nobody's going to take away your shotgun, rifle, and handgun, he was very, very dishonest with the American people on what he really wanted to do. President Obama's attitude towards the Second Amendment is, I'd call it extreme contempt. He likes to pretend it doesn't even exist, and he wishes it didn't. Unfortunately, what we've seen with President Obama is a complete disrespect, not only of the Constitution and not only of the Second Amendment, but the role of the president. He has worked to undermine the divided government that we have. He's worked to undermine democracy, ultimately. And whether you're a gun owner or not, that should concern you. How all you have to do is log on to President Obama's website, change.gov, and his attack on the Second Amendment and your firearm freedoms is spelled out in black and white. <laughs>